Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial of drawing the child's head. I've had so many requests for this, so I wanted to start this new year, 2018, old and new, young and old, if you want, and drawing this child face. Uh, what people ask me is what are the differences, because when I draw a child it always looks like an adult. And you can download this uh, print, of course, on my Patreon, should you be interested in supporting my work here on the YouTube. What uh, first comes to mind is that the hair is uh, less with the child, it's much thinner and also it is very curly. So that's one thing that I've noticed when comparing these faces and what is also important is that the forehead with a child is much bigger and rounder than in a comparison with the adult face. Then we move down towards the next and that's the eye. As you can see, this is placed lower in the head, in comparison, and it is also a little bit rounder and bigger in comparison with the adult eye. Then we move on, and then we can see the nose. Now the nose on the child is uh, tipped up, more rounded, but especially it's more tipped up. You can actually uh, look into the uh, nose openings. Then we see the ears. And as you can see here, the ears are placed lower on the head. The tip of the ear uh, with the child comes uh, with the uh, middle part of the mouth. And talking about the mouth, uh, when we compare this, you can see that the upper lip is uh, tipped forward. So it uh, has that uh, sibling effect. So uh, it's a little bit uh, less broad, but uh, the, the upper lip is really, uh, well, coming forward. And when we compare the chin, the chin is going backward in comparison with the chin of the adult, which is more pronounced. And what is also a very, very big difference, that is that neck. Uh, adults have a really uh, standing out neck, while as by our little child, the neck is, well, not there. So, the ear is lower as we can see here. And the face is lower and smaller in comparison with the adult male that I've drawn. And also the eye is set lower on the face. Is more rounded and bigger than in comparison with the adult. Well, keeping this in mind, we will start drawing that child's face. On the left side I've drawn the profile of the adult male and this is to compare the differences uh, what happens when I would draw this same man but when he was still a young person, baby like and what we can see is that the uh, nose is tipped up and uh, heading down from uh, the nose is that cheek 
that is really really rounded and what you can also see is that um, pronounced upper lip that is going forward so that's that sibling mouth that I was talking about also the child has an under chin which is covering his, his neck which is still in his body and here I draw in the eye and the eye is uh, more like uh, tilted upwards and also that eye is uh, bigger of course so here I draw in the iris and a little spare out for the light and what we also see is that the eyebrow is uh, almost non-existent To make the comparison as uh, good and obvious as possible, I will also place in the shadows. And what you will see is that uh, the shadows on that little child are much more rounded. The lines in the adult face are much much sharper than they are in the child's face so keep away from harsh lines and try to make your shadows as smooth and rounded as possible here you see that I would draw out the head because I cannot make them exactly the same uh, bigness because uh, the child's face is more compact so I need the skull to be drawn up and here you can see me drawing in the ear and this ear is the same uh, size as the adult ear but it is placed lower on the head What is also very nice to do is to draw in those curly, thin little hairs that go all the way around. They do not want to get tamed yet and um, that's just uh, what makes uh, a child's face uh, so um, well nice. That is that, that, that hair that is jumping all around the head. Uh, for this drawing, by the way, I'm using just simple grey and light yellow uh, pastel pencils. But of course you can also do this uh, with graphite if you want. But I wanted to show also the, the highlights and the lowlights in the face and the roundness of the shadows. So that is why I'm using a grey Canson pastel paper and uh, a little bit of colored pencil just to make it more and more obvious now let's look at that outer contour of our profile you can see how round that is and how you can uh, look into the nose of the little child you can see the forehead which is more rounded and the eye that is uh, tilted up more the eyebrows that are hardly uh, there the roundness of the nice cheeks they are all fluffy and, and big and, and with baby fat on them and this is my light yellow pastel pencil and I will draw in uh, the parts that are uh, rounded the most and are uh, coming out, popping out. Of course here you can see it on the 
the nose, the ear, the forehead, and of course, those nice rounded cheeks. When you compare these to the adult on the left, you can see those lines are more harsh. And with the little child, all those shadows and highlights are much more rounded. I will not work this drawing out, I will just uh, show the main uh, lines and the main shadows for you to see the comparison. Let's take a look at the outer line of our uh, adult male. You can see uh, those lines are more harsh and uh, less rounded, of course, than it is uh, with the sibling. The ear that is higher up, the eye that is, uh, is more small and the eyebrow that is existent, which is not with the little child. And of course that neck, the neck that is really standing out with the adult and not with the little child. I hope you learned a little bit more about drawing little children. Uh, on my Patreon I will uh, also have the adult worked out as an extra for those who are supporting me. But for now I wish you all the luck in drawing children and I hope to see you again of course next Friday in my next tutorial.